to sleep last night, so I'm kind of a big deal. I also can't stop staring at this woman beside me that has a shirt on that says easily distracted by goats. I And I realize that I'm staring at her and I keep trying to tell myself, don't stare at her. I'm like, a, I, I'm like an adult telling a child also, stop fucking staring. I'm in, a, like part of me is like, I'm in Ohio and I would see somebody at a gas station at seven o'clock in the morning wearing a fucking shirt that says easily distracted by goats. I would see a lady jump out of an SUV at a 7-Eleven at, at, at 7 a.m. wearing that. But then at the same time, I'm like, bitch, same. <laughs> They're cute. I feel like shit. This is a really super flattering angle that I chose. It really brings out how ratty my wig is right now. I need a new one. Someday. Someday. I just ate a Snickers because I was hangry. I started my period a week early. I'm so happy. So, um, anyways, just so we're all clear, that appointment that I went to this morning was not with my eye specialist. It was with my regular eye doctor. Uh, the one that I took you guys to with me weeks ago was my reg was my specialist. Sorry. Check out today's most watched reels now. Maybe in a little bit after I'm done talking. Sorry, I ate his Snickers. <clears throat> and I'm doing the thing where I'm like half inhaling peanuts. <clears throat> Anyways, that was my regular eye doctor. My vision's barely changed in the two years that I've seen him, which is good. But I also needed an updated prescription for my Zenny. <clears throat> Guys, don't do that burping on the internet so anyways uh my vision hasn't really changed since i saw him two years ago um i got an updated prescription as soon as i have any extra money i'm gonna order me some zennies um i got a pair of glasses that my insurance pays for they're actually really cute i was looking at the cost of the frames on the wall and i was like are you what the fuck i did not choose the nearsighted with astigmatism life it chose me. Bitch! What the f- $200 was the cheapest frames that I could find. 200 But I got my prescription, and as soon as I get some extra money, I'm gonna get me some zennies. Replenish my zennies. Um, but I came home. Total, guys. Total today, I got about four hours. Uh, yeah, I feel weirdly okay. It's my medicine. I swear it's my medicine. I, that's probably not the goodest thing in the world. I did stay up a little too late live streaming, but that's because I knew that the boys were going to be on the bus and gone by the time that I got home from my appointment. And so I could just lay down and go back to sleep. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't work out that way. Uh, hmm. I got home around like nine and I laid down and I flipped and flopped around and gave up at around 11. I did get a little bit of sleep. I did, it was like that piss poor sleep where you can't really tell if you slept or not. Good enough, apparently. And then Epps and I just packed our uh, Depop orders and he just took them to the post office. And now I'm sitting here talking to you after I just downed an entire fucking king size. I, I didn't mean to eat the whole fucking Snickers. I didn't mean to eat the whole fucking Snickers. I meant to eat half the Snickers, uh, but I ate both of them. And now my teeth are really fucking feeling it, Mr. Krabs. So I fell asleep. Uh, my period made sure of that. <laughs> you know, even with that nap that I just took, it was a really good nap. Um, even with that nap that I just took, I still got uh, five hours and 40 minutes worth of sleep today, which is better than two. So, take that. Listen, we're all in agreement that this wig is great. We're all in agreement that this wig is wonderful. Uh, she's the best, she's the greatest, but that's the thing, she's a wig. I can and I will rebuy her. Um, do you know where this is going? Do you know where this is going with these crusty fucking ends? Can you tell where we're going with where I'm going with this? Do you know yet? We're going to cut it. Basically, that's what I'm getting at here, guys. We're going to fucking cut it. Uh, now is the end. Let her ass go in peace. 
I still need to wear it. I have done everything that I can to try to salvage her ass for as long as possible, including but not limited to various chemical things and heat products. All of it. Okay. I think the last thing that I can do is just cut off the frayed ends and get a little bit more wear out of her. Don't be mad at me. Guys, we're about to fuck this shit all the way up. We're about to fuck this whole wig up. <laughs> Irreparably bad. But to be fair, it's fucking irreparably fried right now, so. <laughs> it's not curly, so you can tell, like, even worse that it's, that the bitch is fried. The bitch is fucking fried. I think these might be fabric scissors. All I know is that I was in a Rite Aid and I needed scissors and I was desperate, so I bought them. And they were very, very expensive, but they're super sharp. So that's what I'm going to use. Okay, nobody yell at me. Uh, thank you. Bye. I didn't mean to say bye. I, I, I didn't mean that. Match. We're gonna we're gonna fuck this whole wig up. All right. We're cutting. We're cutting below. I'm cutting below. I'm going to do one at a time. Why am I nervous like this is real hair? Well, there's no fucking going back now. Somebody told me in my comments not that long ago that they'd like to see me with a long bob. This may be your opportunity. I feel like this side's going to be so much longer than the other side. I'm here for it. I'm here for having a weird head. You know, every day of my life, I wake up and I think, you know what I want? A fucking lopsided haircut on a weird head. Because your head's already weird, you stupid bitch. Ah. Is it giving Penelope Tate? It's so cute. It's so fucking cute. And I got my first stray hair. I was going to say, I know I'm going to get some stray hairs. I know that I will. Cause anytime you like irresponsibly hack at hair, you, you do. It's like par for the fucking course. It looks so fucking cute. I would never get that lucky again. I would never get that lucky again. And yes, this is Epps's, uh, heated beard brush. <laughs> we love it on wigs. Uh, yeah, we love it. In this household, we love stealing it for our wigs. What do you think? I think it looks pretty, pretty fucking cool. It's kind of a long bob, yeah? Well, the person who said that in my comments months ago, ta -da! That was the most fucking pathetic ta -da I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> in my life. Oh yeah, she was ready to die. Isn't that right? Yeah, I, I really was, uh, I couldn't go more than 2.8 seconds without getting mad and fucking gross. Straight out of her own mouth. I'm so sad. Mr. E doesn't care about his, uh, his Pikachu hat anymore. <laughs> I'll take it. I told him. I was like, you don't want it. I'll take it. I'll wear, I'll wear the fucking Pikachu hat. But I wasn't mean about it because that's a really stupid thing to be mean to your kids about, you know? It's so cute. He's like, yeah, but look at this more mature hat. And I was like, yeah, but look at this one. It really is tough watching your kids grow up. It really is. It hit me that this is probably going to be the last summer that I have that he doesn't have a deep voice and that I'm going to miss his cute little sweet voice. <laughs> that boy used to be three pounds and like eight ounces at one point. And now he's as tall as I am and I wear his clothes and his shoes all the time. What? 
I have really fucking bad cramps. They're so bad. They're so bad. Oh my God. I am going to take medicine for my cramps. I am going to take medicine for my cramps because if you looked at me and you were like, Shay, I have cramps, I'd be like, take medicine for your cramps. Like you don't have to sit there and be in pain from your cramps. They make medicine for that. So I'm going to treat myself the way that I would want somebody else to treat themselves. Like don't sit around in pain if you don't have to. So here we are, we're taking medicine. We're doing the thing, self-care, uh, not being miserable when we don't have to be, right? <sighs> okay, so if you have been on this channel for more than an hour, you know that Pat is somebody that is so incredibly supportive of me, loving, caring, like not you guys you guys see how supportive she is in my comments you guys have seen her in my live streams um but she also supports me outside of youtube she buys things in my depop and like just i mean she just does what she can and i can't wrap my mind around that i in no way shape or form can i i look at my life as very mundane and I look at myself as quite cringy and goofy, but that is who I am. I, I can't really wrap my head around somebody finding joy in my existence because my whole life I've just been a novelty. You know what I mean? I feel like just this weird out of place thing. And then I made this YouTube channel and here comes these other people that feel the same way and people like Pat who feel this connection with me and I love Pat as well. Pat is somebody that I can say that I I don't ha I don't feel as if the friendship that I have with her is parasocial because it definitely is on both ends. It's just like with Chloe, I feel like um I feel like I could call Chloe a friend. Uh, but she goes so far beyond for me, you guys. You what you guys see on YouTube. I'm about to I'm about to show you. Okay, so I mentioned in a video that this was my favorite lipstick, but the one that I have is drying out, and I had gotten it in a boxy charm like years ago. It was expired, it was drying out, you know, it was done. It was over with. I didn't think I could get it anymore, even if they still made it. Uh, I can't afford it. So Pat combed the internet up, down, and sideways and found me some. All the way in Canada, found me some and had it shipped to my house. I can't comprehend being worthy or deserving of anybody caring about me that much. You know what I mean? I can't fully wrap my head around that and I don't believe that I ever will be able to and I feel like if I ever get to the point that I feel entitled to these types of things, I hope that I don't. I don't think that I will because I don't see myself as being all that great to be worthy of somebody's love like that. You know what I mean? You know, all I do is sit here and just, just share my goofy thoughts and myself just just being myself online and, and to have people find me and love me and accept me and go out of their way like that. For me, I can't fucking wrap my head around that. I can't wrap my head around that. I have creators that I feel that connection with but they don't even know that I exist. And I better never fucking get to the point that I stop seeing the people that support me. You know what I mean? I better never get to the fucking point that I feel entitled to people's love and acceptance. And I take it for granted. You know, I, I better fucking never, like I, I feel like I'm self-aware enough. Being self-aware sucks, but also it has its perks. And a perk is 
knowing when you get to the point that you no longer appreciate the people that you would be nothing without. Because that's a very, very common thing. People get to a certain point, their subscriber count gets to be so high, their views get so high, they get so many followers, and suddenly they don't care about the people that put them there. I fucking refuse. Like genuinely, why would I ever look at somebody doing something like this for me? Why would I ever look at somebody doing something like this for me and not care? I better never. I better fucking never. But I will tell you one thing. There are several people that have been following me for a long time that love me and support me relentlessly and I'll fucking swing for them. I'll fucking swing for them and Pat is one of them. So you better be nice to her. I, I, I have something else I wanted to add to that. I struggle sometimes expressing gratitude and um, it's because I, I feel like there's nothing that I can say or nothing that I could do that can express how thankful that I am. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like no matter what I say, no matter what I do, it will fall short with showing how I feel. Does that make sense? Like, I, I, I have a hard time with expressing, like, how thankful I am. Because I feel like no matter what I say, no matter what I do, it's not going to be good enough because it's not good enough. And I struggle with it a lot, a lot. And uh, because of that, I feel like I don't do enough because, because my fear of this isn't enough. Just saying thank you isn't enough. Just putting somebody's name in the, in the credits of my videos for being a member is not enough. Does that make sense? Am I making sense at all? But also I wanted to talk about something else. I looked into making a Patreon because I cannot. My membership is $1.99 a month. I have had a couple of people ask me how to join from their phone. I have no idea, but I looked into making a Patreon because I was like, oh my gosh, I would absolutely love to stream on Patreon to my Patreons where I can sit there and talk to them. And I would keep the price really low, but you know, in my head, I think I could offer, you know, exclusive pictures and a look into my life, but then I'm like, what else could I do? And I'm like, oh, I could sit there and have, you know, conversations with my Patreons and they could get my full attention, you know, in, in that moment. And I could do it every night or like however many nights a week. Fucking go and look at Patreon. They want to charge you $40 a month to stream. That would probably be how much I would be making on Patreon. Ha! <laughs> And it's like, and there's like a time limit on how long you can stream. I know that when Emily streams to her Patreons, she does it from Skype. Like she posts a link to Skype. But I'm like, what? Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Also, I'm going to go, shit, tomorrow's Saturday. I'm going to go on Monday and look into getting a P.O. box because I told you guys that I would. I'm going to go Monday and look into getting a P.O. box um because it's not nearly as expensive as i thought it was going to be and the third question statement that i have for you guys is i want to stream so much more but i don't want to flood my channel with it so what i'm thinking is i'm either going to go to twitch or kick the thing is everybody views kick as just gambling because it's predominantly just people streaming gambling and um, the reason that people are kind of going there is because they split their revenue with their creators 90-10. You get 90% of your revenue. Now, Twitch is far more popular, but they also are a 50-50 split with revenue. So if you send your favorite Twitch streamer $100 in bits, they get 50 of it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, YouTube is 70-30. Kick is 90-10 uh, and 
uh, Twitch is 50-50. 50-50. That's awful. When you think about the fact that Twitch is owned by Amazon, that's pretty fucking awful. But I want to be able to stream. I feel like when I try to stream, I'm so engaged with my chat during uh, my live streams. It's hard to play games because you got to pay attention. But I can sit there and play games. I can sit there and play games and, and glance at my chat and catch up with them on a different platform because when I'm on my YouTube, I want to be present with my chat. And I'm like, where the fuck should I go? Where should I go? Where should I go? Because Kick is full of gambling and, but it's got better revenue and Twitch is full of creeps and it's 50-50, but it's also the more popular and easier to use one. And both of these things, you have to get so many uh, people to subscribe to your channel. And that's not the paid subscriptions, that's followers uh, in order to even monetize. So I'm thinking like way ahead. I'm manifesting or something. I'm just trying to make excuses. Let me know what you think though. Let me know what you think. I cannot believe that Patreon wants to, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. $40 a fucking month to stream. That's ridiculous. That's insane. But let me know what you think. Kick, Twitch, what do? But just know that that money that you're, that you're throwing at your favorite Twitch streamers, half of it's going back to Twitch. That's insane to me. It's almost nine and I really want to sit down and do my makeup. But the problem is... I want to do it on camera and it's too late to include it in this vlog. So I may just do it and either put it in a separate video or in tomorrow's vlog. But I really want to play with makeup. Every time I get new makeup, I want to play with makeup. And I want to beat the shit out of my face and I have this idea in my head. And we all know it's not going to go the way that I want it to go. But that's not the point. <laughs> that's not the point. The point is I, I'm feeling inspired. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that and I'll film it and I'll post it either by itself or with my vlog tomorrow. And I will see you guys later. Please let me know your opinion on that though. Boy.